guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our YouTube account and we are talking about the gear. Now this is a question that I've actually gotten quite a bit is when it comes to gear, when it comes to dimensional gear for a lot of the players, they know exactly where it comes from. For a lot of the new players, I will show you exactly how to acquire some of the dimensional gear. Now, right off the bat, guys, if you're going through AFK Arena, you'll see some of these Mythic Variety Chests that are popping up out of the AFK Rewards. Now, the first thing you, you notice, choose a hero. Boom, we have no dimensional heroes in here. So this was the question I actually got today, asking if I could explain how specifically we get dimensional gear and what the impact is with the dimensional gear. Um, with the Variety Chests, you do not have an option to choose your dimensional heroes. Now, the only place that dimensional gear actually comes from, even looking here at the um, faction specific or class specific gear, the only place that you can pull dimensional gear is out of the guild store. Now that makes it a little bit more of a higher priority and it is on a rotation, which again, I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. But you can see here, we have Joan, we have Albedo, we have Leonardo. Even with Geralt guys, we're building up the tier force um, dimensional gear where we right here we have a tier three um and then looking down tier four tier four these are not dimensional and you can see we are still missing a lot of these dimensional pieces but over time guys that is really the way to do it even here baba yaga has a tier two dimensional we can go ahead we can level that up if we wanted to utilize one of our stones the rest of it just falls as regular tier three gear um which is just based on where i do have my levels at within the um within the library itself so within the library you have this gear resonance when you level up so much so much gear everybody will get that gear but it is not faction specific so if you're looking again for specific faction dimensional gear this is actually the only place that it shows up these four little bottom slots now, from my understanding, guys, you cannot get factional gear or dimensional gear, excuse me, dimensional gear out of the random ones. Now, with the random one, we do have the, the chain scrolls in there, which we're going to look at in just a minute. But in here, again, you cannot get dimensional gear. As far as I know, let me know in the comments, guys, if you have gotten dimensional gear out of just the random one. But from my understanding, you cannot get the dimensional gear within there it only falls into these last four slots. Now you do have an option, you can actually refresh this for 100 diamonds. I do not recommend this at all, guys. You figure every single day, this is going to naturally refresh. Um, there's no race because the gear is pretty expensive in here. And by the time that you do get enough of these guild coins, which come from the boss or come from the labyrinth, um, you, you're not gonna be able to buy the dimensional gear in bulk. In addition, guys, the Mythic Variety Chest, the exact same. When you scroll all the way through here, there is no dimensional gear as well. It literally only comes from the one place, guys. And as you've seen from all my dimensional heroes, it just takes a long time to get it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do a refresh, see if we can get a piece in here for the dimensional. Again, I do not recommend refreshing it in here. Again, it is all faction specific in here. We'll try it one single time using a little bit of the diamonds. And of course, there is no dimensional gear. Now, you can see that I do also have a 30% off. You can see this little discount box that we have here that makes the gear cheaper. That is dependent on the campaign chapters you're in. So as you do push further, I believe 30% off is the highest discount you get, um, but it does go, I believe 10, 20, 30 as a discount that you do get for that dimensional gear in here. And I'm pretty sad that we didn't find any and there it is, guys. So there's a dimensional hat. This is what it looks like. So this, again, is the only specific place that you can get this dimensional gear. And literally, it is one dimensional padded armor hat, um, which essentially, if I don't need this piece, you're going to have to wait to the next day, the next day, the next day, so on and so forth until you get to the point. So you can actually pop over here, dimensionals, you can go to casters. Does anyone in here need a hat? Let's see, guys. Eins has got a hat. Leo's got a hat. Merlin's got a hat. Um, Yennefer's got a hat. Baba Yaga does not have a dimensional hat. So we could definitely pick her up a hat because she is one that does not have it. And again, this is how I built out all of this uh, dimensional gear, guys, is just going through. So there we go. We'll buy out the hat for Baba Yaga. 
which means now she is actually going to have two pieces of our dimensional gear. We'll do the same. We'll enchant this up like we normally do. Make sure you're not using your Mythic Gear, guys, especially early game. You want to make sure this little toggle switch for Mythic Gear is turned on. We'll go ahead and we'll throw a Tier 1 stone on it. We'll throw a Tier 2 stone on it. I'm going to save my Tier 3 stone right now, but there we go. So that gives us a second piece to our Dimensional Gear. Resonating Crystal. Now the Tier 3 gear with no faction is equivalent to the Tier 2 gear with a faction because the faction gives a 30% bonus, which is pretty big, guys. When you look at some of the damage dealing heroes, having their specific faction gear is pretty important um, just to really amplify the damage that they get. 30% boost when you start getting into gear like Ein's, um, that is much, much higher, is on a much higher level. You can see, guys, the, the faction bonuses or when you start adding the tier stones are much higher specific to the heroes, which is the reason why we really do build them out. Now, in addition, guys, again, a lot of players had questions about the swap scrolls. So we actually have right these, these reset scrolls. So again, when it comes to the reset scrolls, we'll just pick a random hero in here. And let's say we have this dimensional one. We can reset with our swap scroll. And again, you notice right here, guys, there is no dimensional hero. Again, I, I got the question multiple times today. Why are we not seeing more of this? In the future, they might update these. We might actually have the ability to do some resets in here, um, get some dimensional gear. So there is our light bear gear. Now, since I do not have the light bear gear um, built out, resonating is just going to turn it to normal tier three gear. However, if I go in here and I enchant the gear, and then I go ahead and I throw some tier stones on it, it is actually going to make or be a higher benefit to the rest of the gear. You can see it stays as the regular tier two um, faction gear specifically. If I add this on there, now the gear is specific to Hendrick and Hendrick only, but it gets more of a amplification. It actually gets this 30% bonus that is in there specific um, versus just having the regular tier three gear, which again is the reason why a lot of players level up the tier three gear or they move into the tier four gear eventually depending on the build of these heroes. Guys, you're gonna get to a point where most heroes are gonna have tier three and eventually tier four um, gear. It just takes a long time. It, it takes a long time, even when, again, you're building out these dimensional heroes. I mean, that's full dimensional, full dimensional gear, full dimensional gear, um, even full dimensional gear. We're missing one piece for Geralt. Even Queen, we're missing, what, two pieces there. Merlin is full, Ezio's missing two. Prince of Persia is full, Yennefer is full, Joker's missing all of it, Baba Yaga's missing too. And then of course, um, Arthur, because he's not really used anymore, we still have a piece of dimensional on him. Um, but again, we're not really using him at all, and unfortunately anymore. And then of course, Yukio guys, I don't think he has any dimensional gear. And then Nakaruru the same. We don't even have anything on Nakaruru. So we could definitely build out a little bit. But overall, guys, I just wanted to cover in the video how to get the Dimensional Gear. Again, this is a question that I've gotten quite a bit from a, a couple different players. So I definitely wanted to cover it. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.